Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. As I'm sure you know, if you've been playing Warzone for a long, long time, there has consistently been a cheater problem. Back on Verdansk, man, it felt like every single time you jumped on, you were running into cheaters. Aimbots, wall hacks, people flying around in cars. It was crazy. Now, of course, we got the Ricochet anti-cheat a little while back, and since then, things have improved. But recently, Call of Duty put out a brand new report, a brand new blog on the anti-cheat and the cheating situation, in which they reveal some stuff that they really haven't ever revealed before, and they give us some pretty interesting insights into the anti-cheat. So today, we're breaking it all down, the general cheating situation in Warzone right now, some common misconceptions and whatnot. As we go through it all, if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. it really does help grow the channel. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications. That way you can always stay up to date with everything going on in COD. Also, let me tell you, I am loving the new GA frames. These are the Terra frames, like aviator style. Super comfortable, super lightweight. I love these things. They got different colorway options. Of course, all the other frames are available right now as well. And as always, Code Immortal gets you 10% off everything on the Gamer Advantage site. So if you ever want to cop some frames for yourself, link for that will be down in the description below. So this is our blog post from Call of Duty, directly from Team Ricochet, as they call themselves, working on the anti-cheats. It's a cross-functional group composed of security, game and server engines, researchers, data scientists, and more, each working in collaboration alongside game teams. Since Ricochet anti-cheat launched last year, we've seen significant drops in cheaters invading our games, as well as some unfortunate increases and expected ebb and flow that is a frustrating reality in game security. So that's the first thing that they actually end up talking about here. Why do I still encounter cheaters? A huge thing that I think way too many people don't understand about the anti-cheat is that they assume it is a foolproof system. It is a 100% clear combatant to cheaters. If there's an anti-cheat in a game, no one can ever cheat. That's not a one-to-one -one scale. The anti-cheat exists, it bans cheaters, the cheater numbers go down. The cheat developers then figure out what's going on with the anti-cheat, they update their cheats, then there's more cheaters. Then Ricochet has to go in and actually find out what's going on with those cheaters, they update the anti-cheat again. So it's this ever like, you know, it's a it's a stepping stool basically. It's an infinite ladder that uh, you're just constantly competing that who's gonna get to the top first and there's never really a, a real winner you could say. But they say, why do I still encounter cheaters? Anti-cheat solutions work like antivirus software. Let's assume that today we know all the nefarious ways cheaters try to impact the game to ruin your experience. Our team uses that knowledge to protect against that bad behavior and punish the bad actors. While our team has been able to establish systems that can quickly detect and respond to bad behaviors, we know tomorrow we'll continue to, to deliver new and evolving threats. That's the uh, cheat developers updating their cheats. As we take steps to ensure our systems can identify and react to the known bad behavior, we fully expect cheat makers to continue devising new bad behaviors. So basically what I just reiterated but it's in more formal terms and they're not using their hands like me to recreate a ladder in real life but that's essentially what's going on there so yes the anti-cheat works that's another misconception is that it just straight up doesn't work cheat numbers now versus verdansk are night and day you can ask any pro any creator who constantly ran into cheaters back during verdansk seven eight times a day you know if they're playing for long periods of time now it's like man we got maybe one maybe two max a day sometimes not even daily it's definitely improved and if you're Saying otherwise, you're just not really paying attention to what's going on, obviously. Of course, there's other sus ways to go about things, but as far as direct blatant cheats go, it's down for sure. So what's up with these mitigations? Their mitigations are essentially ways to troll cheaters. And this is what I love. And this is what's particularly interesting about this and sort of why I wanted to make this video, because for the first time ever, they're really showing off how they're going about these mitigations and what they're actually doing against cheaters uh, in some significant ways. So mitigations were birthed from the wizards on our server side security systems, just saying, wouldn't it be funny if blank? we trolled them in some way, shape, or form. So when they are actually mitigating against a cheater, they're gathering all the data from that cheater and, uh, and uh, basically how they're interacting with the server, everything about them, and that's how the anti-cheat learns about things. So the first mitigation they have here is the damage shield, and that's essentially the marshmallow bullets. You can see that person is cheating, and when they're shooting our player here, they're taking very, very minimal damage. So you can absolutely destroy a cheater, even if you're not a very good player and the cheater is a pro. If they're cheating and they're getting this, you know, super minimal damage where they're doing one damage per bullet, you can easily kill them. You could run up to them, get around behind them and execute them for all that matters, right? So that's one of the things we've known about that for quite some time. Also been a fan favorite apparently since they announced it. There's also cloaking. This one's particularly interesting. Uh, if we go back and start this from the front, you can see that our cheater here, we're looking from their POV. They shoot somebody and the anti-cheat recognizes that they're cheating. That player then becomes invisible. 
but that player is still there. They're not gone. You can see the other player in the back that they didn't shoot. And you'll see in the kill cam here, it's the player that just became invisible. They're sitting there, they're teabagging. They can do whatever they want because the cheater can't see them. So that's another mitigation that's in place. And then we have a brand new one that actually was just implemented this last week with the latest anti-cheat update, the disarm feature. If you are caught cheating and Ricochet detects that, they'll take away your gun so you cannot shoot. You can't pick up a gun, you can't use any weaponry, which is how it should be. If you're cheating, you shouldn't be able to capitalize on anything. You should just get absolutely rolled in game by players who probably aren't even as good as you in many cases. Although let's be honest, cheaters are very bad. Anybody can just roll right through you because you're getting detected off the anti-cheat. So they essentially go through and uh, say that, yeah, they implemented that this week. They also put out this chart matches with mitigations matches with cheater reports you can see it's very similar with the uh correlation here matches with mitigations where ricochet detects that somebody is actually cheating you can see how that graph works and then also the matches with cheater reports of somebody being confirmed as a cheater that's uh, actually being reported in game so i mean they're clearly gathering a ton of data from this and they also mentioned they have other mitigations in place they have other ways to troll cheaters that will in fact be coming to the game here in the future including with MW2 and Warzone 2, which we'll get to more here in just a bit. Uh, where do you go for mitigations? What about bans? While mitigations are certainly the most eye-catching, trolling cheaters is always fun, those processes are in support of the biggest deterrent to cheating, bans. Team Ricochet issues bans daily for several reasons and often in large waves. Since our previous update, they issued 180,000 bans across Warzone and Vanguard combined. So again, to say the anti-cheat's not working, it's detecting 180,000 plus accounts that were cheating that are now banned and they've made it very clear before ricochet does not mess up on you know a random you know little timmy who maybe got some lucky headshots in a game it's not going to insta ban him off for that it's going to look at all their match history everything about them and take that all into account and they'll act accordingly so i mean clearly it's been it's been evolving and it's putting in the work now and then like i said uh what can we expect from ricochet when uh, mw2 and warzone 2 drops ricochet including its pc kernel level driver will be active on day one for modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 keep in mind they're not launching at the same time but on october 28th when mw2 drops ricochet is going to be there and then whenever warzone 2 drops in november december january whatever Ricochet is going to be there so we don't have to do a repeat of last year where we didn't have an anti-cheat and cheaters just roamed free in Warzone all throughout for Dansk. So definitely some significant updates to cheating here. And I mean, you can definitely tell it in game. Like I said, I see a lot of comments saying, I can't believe the anti-cheat doesn't work. It's a joke, yada, yada, yada. I run into cheaters every day. I'd love to see the COD tracker on those because they the anti-cheat has seen some serious upgrades over the past several months. At first, I won't lie, I was still running into several cheaters, but over time, the number has gone down drastically. And that's a sentiment that's shared, like I said, across a lot of pros, a lot of streamers, a lot of content creators. I'm lurking all the time, looking at stuff like that. And the chats are always bringing it up, comments are bringing it up. And I see the consistent message of not even close to what it was before. So that is the current cheating situation in Warzone, how things are being handled, what they're looking at with certain things and how they're preparing for the future as well. All solid news in my opinion. That said, that is gonna wrap things up for today hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did let me know by dropping a like on the video would be seriously appreciated and if you're new here feel free to subscribe that way you can always stay up to date with everything going on in the world of call of duty but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out